I see you hiding. A beautiful plunge pool to cool off in. As you guessed it, back in the lakes, and this time back to Horsewater. I've parked opposite the little island because the car park down at Mardale Head looks fairly busy. So I'm heading up towards Cellside. I'm gonna have a bit look around here. Whether I'll camp up here, it'd be a Maybe not, but maybe behind me. I know there's some places up there that I'm just having a wonder. Just making most of this beautiful weather. Hardly a breath of wind again as well. So I'm just taking a breather. Take some fluids on board and just chill. Lovely clear waters. It's warm going. I am just following this uh, lovely name Beck, Captain Welter Beck. If I follow this up, it will bring me to just off the summit of Southside, but uh, it's warm out there. But I'm not complaining. So I'm just going to. Five ten minutes. At the shelter on top of cell side, I think it's six five five meters, but yeah, some great views across the Pennines, and then you've got the Howgills right across there. Just a bit hazy today, that's the only problem. And you can just see Hall's Water, and there's Penrith in the distance, and Shap straight ahead. But yeah, there's plenty of places up here to pitch, but it's far too early. Nice, short grass. Uh, I'm just going to have a nosy about and see what else I can find. I think I'm going to go back down because I have to be way sharp in the morning. I've got work again tomorrow afternoon, so down that area. Yeah, so I'm not going there. It's that side there. I couldn't see it before. These little hills here. There's a couple of places I know down there. But there's something in my eyes now. Is it now half past five? So plenty of time just to enjoy the views. It's a pity it's a bit hazy again. We might. It was, last night was an absolute cr cracker of a sunset. So we'll see if we get uh, as good a one tonight. Probably won't. You've got Swindale Head. I think the footpath runs and up. Through and over there, that way. Beautiful little valley. Some some nice waterfalls. That's us off. The summit now. Now we're on the old corpse road. Head along somewhere. Have a bit of a look, see what we can find. This is where I pitched up in December, just before lockdown. I've just come down off cell side, right round and then round this way. 
but I'm not stopping here tonight. I'm gonna continue further up the other side. Hopefully get a spot of a look on horse water. Yeah, I'm still on the lookout for water. I had opportunities up there, but I, <laughs> there is some down. It's a bit of a hike down, like but I was hoping for some. I hope someone's a bit closer to hand. We'll find something. I think I'm just gonna pitch it here. It's quite uh, flat. It's got a decent view over the water. And I think I've seen a pool down there. So I'm gonna go and have an investigate of that. And unfortunately it's a bit stagnant that. So I don't really want to be in the midges and all sorts hovering around it. So I did see some running water. <laughs> it's right down there, so I'll just have to make a dash for it. I found some running water there. It's quite clear, so I'm quite pleased with that. And it's going to get boiled as well. It's not the best of pitches. It's a bit lumpy. Hopefully it'll flatten down as I lay on it, but it uh, seems to be solid enough. So there's a bit of a breeze blowing here, which is lovely. As long as it doesn't get any more than that. <laughs> but, uh, we should be fine. Right, let's get some of this gear in here. All set up. Bit of a mess in here, but I have um, still using the quilt. UGQ quilt because the temperature's still getting really cold on a overnight and in the morning. And I've also got my bivvy bag in there, got my down jacket, electrics bag, got a bit of a mess here in mind. Food, cup and stove, there's my table, got power bank in there. Yeah. So there's quite a few cars in the car park, but uh, that ain't gonna bother me. Dead ahead, kids to bike. Very quiet. So it's just a nice little breeze blowing here. Keep any nasties away. Just got one tonight, another Copperberg. Cheers. Yeah, that's not really much of a sunset, is it? Unfortunately, yeah, it's that time again. Hat on, jacket on. Once you stop, when I was obviously hiking up the fells and yomping away and that, I was lovely and warm, just in a t-shirt. And then I put the other top on, the other layer, and now I've gone for the jacket, so this will be me. Won't get any warmer. Yeah, I managed to sneak this one out. I've finished work this afternoon, about half two, and then I'm back out again at just before two tomorrow. So it's just a quick overnight of this one, you know, while the weather's good. And the wife let me out. She must get sick. She maybe gets a bit of peace. Hot chocolate. And a double decker. Which has gone a bit cold and hard. Yeah, I won't be hanging out much tonight out here. It's still bloody cold. I will just be keeping warm. Right, there's not a lot happening. It's a bit hazy for star shots, so I'm just going to call it a night and I'm going to get up sharp in the morning. As I say, I've got to be away. But I'll get up sharp and see if we've got a, 
half decent sunrise to capture but uh, I'll not have my breath. Catch you in the morning. Yeah this camera won't pick it out. It's a big halo right around the moon. Right, good morning campers. Not a drop of condensation. So I brought the, <laughs> the bivvy, but it wasn't required. It's in the way, it's completely bone dry. It's just a steady, nice breeze. The temperature's probably about three degrees. So, but, uh, it's a bit overcast, but it is early. Right, let's get myself sorted and get a brew on. Yep, that's where I was. Cleared it all away, took all my rubbish away, left no trace. I would say it'll, it'll get out nice later. So yeah, another trip to Horswater. And you, those clear skies have eluded us once again. I think I've been here three times and three times. It's been cloudy. Oh well. You can't win them all, eh? Just route one down. Straight off the hill. Right. I'm going to call this the last bit of filming. Not far to the car now. We've done all this before on this route down, so thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.